so we'll go for expanding brackets, which again is recap from GCSE. I think you do it before GCSE as well. Um, um, but um, to go through it, so in general, let's just do A plus B and then C plus D. So the important thing to expand brackets is to multiply every term in each bracket together. So um, the best way in order to represent this is with A, you need to times it by C and D, and with B, you need to times it by C and D. You need to times everything in each bracket together. So the best way in order to start off with this is to do it like this, and then draw the arrows here as well. And then follow the arrows. Follow the arrows, and that's all the multiplication that you need to do. So if you follow the arrows, you need to do a times c, which is ac. A times d, which is ad. B times c, which is bc. And b times d, which is bd. So to put this into number form, two x plus three. And in the other bracket, we'll do x plus 4. 2x times x is 2x squared. 3 times x is 3x. 2x times 4 is 8x. And 3 times 4 is 12. We can simplify this because we have like terms here. And we can write this as 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. Another example, x plus 1, x plus y plus 1. There are three terms in this bracket, although that doesn't matter. So x times x is x squared, x times y is xy, x times 1 is x, 1 times x is x, 1 times y is y, and 1 times 1 is 1. Again, we can simplify this because of the like terms. We can do x squared plus xy plus 2x plus y plus 1. Um, you can still do the um, the technique up here that I was talking about um, if you do get a bit confused about what's times and together. I had to do that for quite a while um, because for some reason I always used to times things that were in the same bracket so it was a really stupid error. I used to sometimes like times 2x times 3. So if that's something that you are at risk of making a mistake of then start with the arrow technique but overall you'll get better of it um, as you go along. Okay, another example, x and then bracket 2x plus 4. This looks a bit confusing when you first look at it because the x isn't in a bracket, but because it's on a term on its own, you don't need to use a bracket. So it's just um, the same as before, x times 2x is 2x squared, and x times 4 is 4x. Finally, x plus 1 squared. Everyone always... Um, people beginning out always forget about this this is not the same way as indices law works the 2 doesn't come down here and it's not x squared plus 1 squared it's, it's, it's not that at all please remember this when you see a, when you see um, a bracket um, more than one term and then the square is that it's going to be two brackets times together so in this instance it would be x times x which is x squared 1 times x which is x, 1 times x which is x, and 1 times 1 which is 1. And then that, um, these two terms you can um, simplify because they're like terms, x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, so here's a couple of questions on um, uh, expanding brackets. So have a go at them, pause the video, and um, in five seconds I'll go through the answer. Okay, so... 2x times x is 2x squared, 2x times y is 2xy, 2x times 3 is 6x, 5 times x is 5x, 5 times y is 5y, and 5 times 3 is 15. You can simplify this because of like terms to 2x squared plus 2xy plus 11x plus 5y plus 15. Um, just as a note, if you went straight to this because you uh, you realised the um, the like term straight away, uh, that's fine, you'll still get the marks. Um, they, you don't need to write this step if you don't want to. Um, so for the second question, 
Um, I realise in all my examples I didn't actually include any minuses. I hope that's okay. I hope everyone kind of um, gets how they would apply because it's it's literally the exact same as a plus. Um, so remember the indices law doesn't apply here. So it would be x minus one, x minus one x minus 1 and then you're going to times two of the brackets together and then once you've done that you're going to times uh, the other bracket together it doesn't matter what order you do it in even if they weren't the same it still doesn't matter the order that you do it in so let's start with let's do these two so x times x is x squared minus 1 times x is minus x minus 1 times x is minus x and minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1 We can simplify this because of the like terms to do x squared minus 2x plus 1, x minus 1, and then we just expand the brackets again to do x squared times x is x to the power of 3, minus 2x times x is minus, x, minus 2x squared, 1 times x is x, minus 1 times x squared is minus x squared, minus 2x times minus 1 is plus 2x and plus 1 times minus 1 is minus 1 and we can simplify this to do x cubed minus 2x squared minus um, x squared um, is minus 3x squared and then the x plus 2x would go to plus 3x and then the minus 1 uh, is on its own so that's the final answer just a quick side note, um, and this is a tip um, for loads of algebra. Um, you could have done it for the indices question earlier as well. I just forgot to mention it. Apologies. Um, if you want to check for these answers, um, if the answer is right, you can actually just sub in a value for x and compare um, the original um, expression and your final answer. So, for example, let's sub in a value of 5. And let's say, uh, so 5 minus 1 cubed, uh, comparing this here putting into a calculator the answer is 64 well if you make um, x5 here if you do 5 cubed minus 3 5 squared plus 3 5 minus 1 if you put that into a calculator you also find that that's 64 so that actually tells you that you have got the final answer it's a really good way of checking and it's a really big tip for algebra in general